Welcome to the He's Got Issues Independent Comics Edition number 145.3. I'm John Cooney here to preview new independent comics being released October 29th, 2014, beginning alphabetically with Boom Studios and Adventure Time number 33. Magic Man's hold on Finn is proving to be stronger than anyone had thought, and it's taking the whole crew to band together to help their friend, only this time there really might be nothing they can do. It's up to Finn to stand up to Magic Man, if only he could find the bully. And we've got Adventure Time Banana Guard Academy number 4 of 6. Looks like these recruits are finally rising to the occasion, but in a big, not really sort of way. Has the lead banana finally figured out a way to get these peelless jokes of Banana Guard out of his life? It might be time for Tree Trunks to take charge and give her fellow trainees something that they sorely need. Help. From Dark Horse Comics, we've got Aliens, Fire, and Stone number 2 of 4. After crashing their clunky mining ship on a strange planet, a group of human survivors face both xenomorph attacks and friction among themselves, which could spell doom for everyone. The stranded and desperate group has a single chance, one of their scientists, who seeks the key to their freedom. Next, we have Baltimore, the Wolf, and the Apostle number 1 of 2. When Inquisition agents come to destroy a wolf that used to be one of their own men, they don't stand a chance without the ultimate ally. We've also got Captain Midnight number 16, something stirring in the night, creeping and skulking at the edges of sight. A threat more savage than Captain Midnight's face before, a canine danger from fable and lore. As the darkness grows and the shadows deepen in this sinister story, you'll be howling for more. Next, we have Conan the Avenger number 7. After arriving in a port town, Conan and his allies are thrown into battle against an army of brigands, and Conan enters into an uncertain alliance to steal a legendary treasure of immeasurable wealth. We've also got Deep Gravity number 4 of 4. Their only means of escape exploded before their eyes. Now the survivors on the vanguard have little hope left and a vicious creature stalking in the shadows. Can the people on the planet mount a rescue, or will the survivors burn in orbit if they aren't eaten first? Next we have The Goon, Occasion of Revenge, number 3 of 4. Things continue to go downhill in The Goon's war with the Witch Clan, but the Kid Gargantuan's personal tale of revenge may be the downfall of everyone. Created by Eisner Award winner Eric Powell. We've also got Gru vs. Conan number 4 of 4, the final showdown between the world's greatest warrior and comic's biggest idiot. Conan fights for his kingdom, Gru fights for his bakery, and Sergio and Mark fight for their comic shop. Triple storylines collide in a chaotic climax of barbaric proportions. Next we have the Massive number 28. As the storm rages around the crew of the capital, they embrace the reappearance of the Massive and learn much more about the origins of the crash from Mary. But it's only when masses of Earth rise from the ocean floor that things really get interesting. We've also got Mind Management number 27. Deep in South America, Mero receives training from the oldest living agent of Mind Management and in the process gets a peek into what the management was really like in the mid-20th century. And we've got Sundowners number 3. The paths of the strange super team known as the Sundowners begin to unfold as the citizen tries to protect a family that no longer wants him, Arcanica is visited by an old boyfriend, and Crolita experiences visions of a life she prays isn't hers. From Dynamite Entertainment, we've got Bob's Burgers number 3. Five brand new stories of the Belcher family. Tina's erotic friend fiction takes us into the Wild West for a sharpshooter standoff. Bob makes a profitable prediction. Louise imagines a fantastical, unfathomable fort. Linda pitches peculiar perfumes. And Gene presents a musical that is both euphonious and amphibious. Next, we have Captain Victory and the Galactic Rangers number 3. The hunt for Captain Victory continues, and the search for inner meaning is not far behind. The command crew of the Dreadnought Tiger embarks on cosmic mercy missions to track down both the heart and soul of their lost captain. Read the comic book that writer Joe Casey of the runaway hit series Sex promises will probably blow your brain apart. We've also got Doodle Jump Comics number 4 of 6. Our heroes have acquired a magical scroll to guide them toward an ancient treasure, but first they must journey through a perilous metal factory. The first ever Doodler comic book adventure comes to a close, perfect for readers of all ages. Next we have Pathfinder City of Secrets number 6 of 6. The Pathfinder heroes have been tested by the City of Secrets, and by the end of the chapter, it will leave its mark upon them. Divided, betrayed, and outmaneuvered at every turn, can the group go on, or is this where their adventure ends? Pezo's award-winning game world is brought to life in a pulse-pounding comic adventure. Each issue contains bonus rules, material, and a pull-out map for the award-winning Pathfinder RPG. 
We've also got Purgatory number two, doomed to spend her days as a mindless ghoul. Purgatory struggles to keep her sanity. As if that's not enough for the vampire goddess, an ancient and mysterious enemy wants her dead. Purgatory will have to rely on her wits to get out of this one, but how will she survive if she can't think past her overwhelming thirst for blood? And we've got Shadow, Midnight, and Moscow number five of six. The doomsday clock ticks ever closer to midnight, and only the Shadow and his faithful companion, Margot Lane, can hope to hold back the hour of annihilation. From IDW Publishing, we've got Cartoon Network Super Secret Crisis War number 5 of 6, with the fate of the worlds depending on them, destroying robots, even the powerful doppelgangers, isn't cutting it. Now Samurai Jack, Ben 10, the Powerpuff Girls, and Dexter battle Aku and his League of Extraordinary Villains. The wild cards in this conflict? The unlikely team-up of Mojo Jojo and Ed, Ed, and Eddie. Next we've got Lil Nemo, Return to Slumberland number 2, Betrayal and a Kiss, Scratchy clothes and a threat of tea party, Nemo just wants to get away from Slumberland, and his wish may come true when the insufferable flip brings the sun to melt it all. Can this already be the final adventure in this exciting new vision of Windsor McKay's classic comic strip? And we've got Transformers More Than Meets the Eye number 34. The Dilemma, on a planet dedicated to right and wrong, four damaged Autobots must make an impossible choice, kill or cure. Whatever they decide, their lives will never be the same. From Image Comics, we've got Black Science number 10. Fueled by a long string of failures as a leader, Kadir launches a mad rescue attempt. Can he live up to his promise and finally redeem himself, or will he fall beneath the crawling chaos of a million psychic millipedes? Next, we have Cutter number 4. Cutter issues 1 through 4 weekly throughout October. What if that kid you and your friends picked on in your youth came back with a vengeance to kill you and your friends? The dark, guilt-ridden fear is the core of Cutter, a cautionary tale about the sins of your past coming back to haunt you. Jeremy lives a quiet life with his wife in a rural town. Successful and stable, Jeremy is the guy next door. But he and his high school friends share a dark secret, and when that secret literally comes back to haunt them, Jeremy must confront his past and his own sanity as he comes face to face with the vicious serial killer, The Cutter. From television writer Seamus Kevin Fahey and comic writer Robert Place Napton, with art by acclaimed horror artist Christian Debari. We've also got Low Number 4. On their journey to the Earth's surface, Stel Kane and her son must travel through the Third City, a lost utopia, long abandoned and ruled by a tribe of villainous pirates, the very same pirates who killed Stel's husband and stole her daughter many years ago. Next we have Rasputin Number 1, Dracula at Downton Abbey. In one night, Rasputin was poisoned, beaten, stabbed, shot in the head, drowned, then tied up and thrown in a frozen river. It was really bad timing. His beard was just coming in nicely. New York Times bestselling author Alex Grecian and fan favorite artist Riley Rossmo reunite for the first time since their critically acclaimed series, Proof. We've also got Roche Limit number 2. Alex and Sonya forge a dangerous alliance as they work to find Becca. Meanwhile, Moscow moves to take control of the colony's underworld, and three mysterious beings add to the mystery of Roche Limit. Next, we have Saga number 24. Hey, it's the Brandon Sweet Boy. We've also got Savage Dragon number 199. Countdown to issue 200 reaches its penultimate issue. Malcolm Dragon tackles the deadly demonoids. It's an all-out underworld war as the Lava Lords, Ant Menaces, and Demonoids battle it out for world domination. And whoever wins, we lose. The surface world is on fire and the son of Savage Dragon is in over his head. Next we have Sex number 17. Breaks on a bus, breaks on a car, breaks to make you a superstar. Breaks to win and breaks to lose, but these here breaks will rock your shoes. We've also got Southern Bastards number 5. The hit Southern crime series returns as Jason Aaron and Jason Latour pull back the curtain on the history of Craw County and its most famous and feared resident. In a place where only bastards flourish, what does it take to be the biggest, meanest, most powerful bastard of them all? Only Coach Boss knows, and if I was you, I wouldn't ask him. Next, we have Thought Bubble Anthology 2014, a collection of new short stories by some of the best in the business, plus many more names to be announced. This anthology is part of the United Kingdom's Thought Bubble Festival, which takes place in Leeds, Northern England, from November 9th through 16th, 2014. All profits from this comic go to Bernardo's, one of the largest children's charities in the UK. We've also got Umbral Number 10, There in the Gleaming. Rascal gets in trouble, so what else is new? Well, the Mistwalker finally lives up to its name. 
Dallin finds something that shouldn't exist in the darkness, and you won't believe who's in the cage. Stick that in your Oculus and smoke it. And we've got Wayward number three, Image Comics' new supernatural sensation, more students with strange abilities, more creatures emerging from the shadows, Rory can see patterns pulling it all together, but can she discover the secret beneath before it's too late? From Valiant Entertainment, we've got Archer and Armstrong number 25. It all ends here. Seriously, this time it literally all ends here. Maybe. Be here front and center as the original creative team of Fred Van Lint and Clayton Henry lead off a 48-page A&A Hollapalooza honoring Valiant's most dysfunctional duo, plus the official Archer and Armstrong drinking game, Armstrong's first drink, a very special Time Walker adventure, and much more. Featuring a who's who of funny book Mad Capri with all new stories and shenanigans from Donny Cates, Juan Doe, Sean Crystal, Ray Fox, Justin Jordan, Barry Kitson, Michael Walsh, and many, many more. And we've got Harbinger Omega's number three of three, Cold War No More, Peter Stanchek, Toyo Harada, the two most destructive superpowers in the world, literally, have come to a dead reckoning, and in the fallout of their cataclysmic conflict will each come to grips with the world in which the other is free and unchecked. Their former families, the Harbinger Foundation and the Renegades, lie in shards around them. What will stop these men, either of them, from reducing the world to ashes? Okay, so that's a look at some of the top independent publishers this week, but there's still plenty of other books out as well, so be sure to check out my YouTube channel at he'sgotissues.com to see both the Marvel and DC videos for this week, as well as my usual roundup of all my favorites for the week, with a little more depth and insight than you get here. And if you like these videos, be sure to let me know by leaving a comment and subscribing. You can also follow He's Got Issues on Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, and Tumblr to see everything I'm reading as I read it. So until next week, I'm John Cooney. And I've got issues.